All right, so here I am again, and I'm just adding some extrudes in this region. There we go. And if I was wrong about the legs, um, I have a second chance of redemption, of course because in here I could take that curve and highlighting the curves fun but you could zoom in good to the control vertices of it all and you can totally make changes after the fact based upon the curve so I can move this leg around if I wanted to I could shrink it up if I wanted to so don't feel that you don't have a lot of change here you have tons of change Maybe I'll angle this one in a little bit. Now these legs are really scary, okay? Like as far as pointing pointy legs go. And pointy legs on insects are scary. So I'm just gonna kind of go in here and fatten these up a little bit so they don't look like spikes. And then I'm just going to average the vertices. There we go. So they don't look so ominous. And being that these are insects' legs, they they do have quite a change from one form to the next. So meaning here, let's scale this one up. Then I can scale this one up. And that gives it that sectioned look that insects have. In this case, it looks like he has two main sections and one section down here that I would need to insert edge loops to support that. And this is the stuff that takes a little while to do. Another thing you could do is go into transform component. It's a little easier sometimes because you can pull these out without scaling them. And if you double click and hit G on the keyboard, you can go right back into transform component. And don't forget, it takes a little bit of a drastic change to kind of appear at the next level. So even if you plump this out a little bit, you might want to plump it out a lot. And the only thing bad about getting into this level is you got to zoom way in to be able to grab something. So there we go. That's just shaping out these forms. Um, this is a tedious process, so no doubt about it. So you know, and it's probably very boring to watch. So if you 
if you get what I'm kind of doing right now, you know, I would say you can skip ahead and mirror the legs and get those all situated and meet me back in the next next video. Because all I'm doing is just plumping out these forms, getting them to look like inset legs, and that's it. One more, then I'll mirror the legs. Keep in mind, I can do a lot of the changes in another program called ZBrush, so I'm not really worried too much about putting all the little changes and deformations into it. Um, a lot of that stuff is a ZBrush thing, so I'm just producing a good bug that can be deformed in ZBrush. So here, what I can do is now mirror that over to the other side. Notice my mirror cut will always be a little wonky because of that that change in the center. But what I can do is take this thing and see how there's a translate a negative 0 0.175. Well, I can take it and freeze transformation on it. Take the negative out of the equation and mirror cut might work a little bit better sometimes okay again I'm just gonna have to go in here with mirror cut zoom in and make sure my edge loops are right By the way, you can use Alt in the arrow button. That will allow you to scooch it a little bit and make some finite changes. So there we go. Duplicate it. Get it out here. Delete that one. And this one should be a little bit more balanced now that you did that a couple times. So, don't forget to sign your existing Lambert. That should fix up any anomalies. And there we go. I'm just going to round this head up a little bit more. Then I'm going to take all the vertices here. Minus the ones on the leg. So if I hold control, I can deselect. I'm just going to average these out a little bit. And then I can take the uh, transform component and then pull them out a little bit too. So I can put back uh, that girth that was in there before. So that's the only thing different between modeling non-organic and organic is the fact that you, you're using average a little bit more. And you're deciding you know how tight forms are going up against each other it's like that Alright, not bad so far. 
Uh, let's go into the next video and kind of clean it up a little bit on this side, the butt side.